Part 2 In the brightness of the winter sun the next morning, Mr. White laughed at his fears. There was an air of positivity in the room now that the sun was back. The sun, the good old sun, always there to burn away dark thoughts and superstition. Mr. White sighed as he looked about the room. His eyes fell on the shriveled little paw that still lay on the chessboard, left out and forgotten. I suppose all old soldiers are the same, said Mrs. White to herself more than her husband. To think we actually listen to such nonsense. Another snort followed. For wishes to be granted in this day and age, I should think not. And if they could, how could two hundred pounds hurt you? Might drop on his head from the sky, said Herbert as he came down the stairs while buttoning up his shirt. Morris said the things happened so naturally said his father, that you might think it was all just a coincidence if you wanted to, 